Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I am on a Royal Enfield Shotgun 650 and I'm so excited about this. Thank you to Ring Rakers for loaning me this bike for a couple of hours. Please check out their website for fantastic deals on some lovely motorcycles. Right, let's get to the video. Right, so I purposely rode this bike for about an hour before I committed to turning the camera on. Um, so I want to give you a bit of an idea really, so it's a little bit more than the first ride. So I can gel with the bike first before I, uh, before I talk about it. Oh yeah boy! Ah oh, great, yeah, it's got plenty of power. Enough to get you up to speed, but not get you in trouble. Although you probably still could get into trouble with this. So, a lot of regular viewers will know that I owned an Interceptor 650. So, I will compare this to that vehicle. Straight away, it's a much better bike. Why is it a better bike, Nicholas, you say? Because, one, it's a different design. It's cool as f Two, the riding position is cool as as f apologies for my language but that is my initial expression of this motorcycle and there it is in all its glory what a beautiful machine i was really surprised riding this because i previously owned an interceptor and I feel this has that edge. I'll go into detail a bit later, but just have a, let's have a look at the juicy specs of this vehicle. So it's got the same parallel twin as the Interceptor 650. It's got 30, uh, 30, 52 newton meters of torque. The seat height is 795 millimeters. I've got a 29 inch inner seam and I can comfortably flat foot this. It's not a struggle whatsoever. The weight is 240 kilograms, but do not let that put you off because it's low down weight. It does not feel like a heavy vehicle at all. So the fuel tank is 13.8 litres and that does 61 miles per gallon. What I like about Royal Enfields as well, they do them in so many colours. You can get this in the sheet metal grey, the green drill, plasma blue, and this one of course, the stencil white. And I really like this colour. If I was buying one, I just really don't know what colour I would choose. I really don't know. And you can buy these on the road, ready to go, with 12 months tax, £6,899. So if you're interested, give Paul a call at Moonrakers. You can visit their website, and I'll put their number on the screen now. Alright, so let's have a look at some of the features. Now we spoke about the specs. Let's turn... Vehicle one, look at the dash. Very similar to the Scram that I owned. And actually, it's very similar to the Meteor 350 dashboard. We've got a digital fuel gauge. We've got a clock on there. Gear indicator. Oh, it's actually got eco light, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have the speedometer, but that's a manual speedo, which is pretty nice. It adds to that retro feel. Got the trip navigator which you can download the app and that will connect to your phone so you can have turn-by-turn -turn signal navigation. 
What a lovely feature. I quite like it because it's got a very clear clock. I think the quality of Royal Enfield has dramatically increased. Look at this switch gear, it's metal. A metal switch gear. It's so premium. The handlebar clamp, thick powder coats, lovely quality. Look at that shock absorber, it's massive. You've got the clutch lever, which is span adjustable through this lever here, which is pretty cool. Nice, thick, wide clutch lever. Plenty of room for your fingers to even out that pressure. Royal Enfield quality certified. Metal as well. I love this style, this retro. It's got the round sort of toggle switch. And we have hazards as well. And as we are on the subject of lights, traditional filament bulbs on the indicator, LED side light and dip main beam. I quite like this casing, powder coated black. It's not going to discolour. Paul has apologised for this being dirty, but unfortunately someone took it out in the rain the other day. Let's have a look at the swing arm. There's a pivotal point of the vehicle, of course. A nice chunky swing arm, I like it. Got the usual bribery brakes made by Brembo. Rear brake on this is fantastic. The front one is more progressive, meaning you've got more control of it. You can dial in that braking. It's there when you need it, you pull it hard and it stops. Seat tyres, which is a similar brand to Pirelli. Nice chunky forks. Upside down forks. I'd prefer this over the interceptor. Just because of the foot positioning, slightly forward. It's not getting in your way when you put your feet down at traffic lights. Upside down forks. A bit of wind protection gives you that nice clean air. No buff hitting. This is definitely a better vehicle. Right, let's have a look at the other features. Right, let's have a looky in the fuel flap cap area. So that lifts up like that. Put the key in, twist it. Uh, it's on a pivot, stays solid. Nothing worse than taking the fuel cap off and you don't know where to put it. Nice little hole there, nice full tank there. Thank you so much, Paul, for filling that up for us. Let's have a look at the key wire rear. Nice solid key, got the Royal Enfield logo there. Very nice, I like it. Right, I've done enough waffle off the bike. Let's jump on the bike, do some ride bys, see what I look like sitting on it, and I'll catch you on the road. Right, so this is what I look like on it. Five foot nine, easy flat foot it. This is the natural riding position. This is why I prefer it over to the uh, interceptor because when you stop at traffic lights, you put your feet straight down like that. They're not getting in the way of the pegs. Whereas on the interceptor, I was like this. Look, these are slightly more forward. It gives the bike a bit more of a sporty feel with the bars as well. So you're kind of like ready in that sort of aggressive position but not so aggressive that it hurts your back I've been on this for about an hour now and it is very comfortable so that's what I look like sitting on the vehicle catch you in a bit so immediately the position of the bike so comfortable and better than the interceptor engine we know this engine is fantastic I've got a video on adjusting the tappets doing the oil change the parts are cheap this bike mechanically is brilliant to live with. Even if you're not a fully qualified mechanic, you can still work on this vehicle. You don't need a fancy computer to work with it. Oh, and it sounds so nice. We've got the parallel twin pushing out 52 newton meters of torque. We've got the twin pipes coming out the back. What I like about these bikes as well, you can get in so many different colors and there's so many performance upgrades for these. You can really make this bike your own. Again, the quality, fantastic, second to none. As Royal Enfield are taking the European market by storm, they are managing to develop their motorcycles with better quality products 
and the price doesn't reflect on this they are still affordable motorcycles fantastic right so this travel at 30 mile an hour see what the surging is like we are at fourth gear and we are cruising obviously we haven't got cruise control but what I'm saying to you it's smooth as no vibrations I quite like these uh, grips as well they've got raw infield sort of engraved on them what a nice touch beautiful you can tell passion and soul has gone into making these vehicles you really can and you feel that when you are riding the vehicle you really do so let's see what it's like turning round tight little turns oh easy so well balanced it may be quite heavy on paper but honestly I tell you it is not a heavy bike when you are taking it round the corners definitely not so we're in third gear, doing 30 mile an hour. We're testing out the higher rev surging to make sure it's nice and smooth. And again, yes, very smooth. I had a bit of an issue with my interceptor, actually. I brought that in 2022. I think it was 22. 2022. And the issue I had with it, when you revved it stationary, it would, the revs would go under 1,000 revs and the bike would nearly stall. And on occasions, it used to stall. This bike has none of that. I've had the bike when it's cold. I've ridden the bike now. It's warm. And I've done that rev to check that uh, stalling issue. And it's spot on. Absolute spot on. So if you're worried about that, that stalling, this bike doesn't do it. My interceptor did. And my de the demo on the interceptor I've done, they, that done the same. So this is a demo. It's not doing the same. I imagine that Royal Enfield has addressed that issue. Right, so the wind, what are we doing? 50 mile an hour, clean air, absolutely clean. There is no shield on there. To be honest with you, you don't need it. You would not need to buy a screen on this. The air is evenly spread, so it's not hammering on your head. You're not going to wear out your neck muscles if you're on a long ride. So I wouldn't worry about the buffeting, that's not an issue. What can I say? Um, the seat is a little bit hard, I must say but it's got that bobber look to it. So you're not gonna expect that to be nice and soft, but you probably can upgrade it. It's not unbearable, but it's not the softest. So I've been riding this bike now for about two hours, obviously off camera, so I can give you a good feel for it. And I am telling you, I've got no negatives apart from what you mentioned with a seat. And that could probably be adjusted later on, getting a comfort seat or a gel pad or something like that. I would definitely buy this motorcycle. There's no reason why I don't trust the Royal Enfield brand. Very passionate company. Lovely choice of colours. And they are priced accordingly. Very, very good value for money. And that's what this motorcycle market is all about. Getting good value for money not building a reputation and then cutting costs these are on the up they are increasing costs so grab one of these while you can and head to moonrakers thank you so much for watching i've really enjoyed riding this bike please stay tuned for more reviews thank you again to moonrakers check them out give paul a call and ask for a ride on one of these in norwich so until then i've been nick and i'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. How balanced is that? Look at it. No hands. Don't try what I'm doing at home. Oh, so nice this bike. So nice. Right, let's give you a cheeky little tunnel pass, shall we? We don't get many of these. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know how well that comes off on camera, but that sounds harmonic!